Hello, so in this uh, video I will speak how to save a project. So saving should be done after you begin the project and uh, you should save regularly uh, by using Ctrl S to do it or by clicking menu uh, tools and selecting save sketch or save sketch as in this case because we don't have access to autodesk uh, autodesk uh, docs uh, it's limited for students and we cannot use it for normal projects and for normal license and companies this ac access is available so you can save it to autodesk cloud platform but for students and um, users you just click uh, sketch save sketch uh, locally and in this case uh, if you click locally it lets you choose the name and uh, it lets you to choose the history if you want to save all the file also the history uh, so the file size will be larger but you will be able to go uh, under uh, if you open your project and if I click uh, save as I get the same uh, option normally it should uh, open me additional window to uh, select location where I want to save and in the browser application it will save automatically into your downloads folder if you use desktop version it will give you possibility to save to your needed folder Okay, of course, before saving, we need to put the correct naming convention for our project and our files. So how to do it? So let's see in our BIM execution plan for student projects, we have the task to create EXM file format. So it's the main format file format. And we should go to file formats and file naming so in this case file naming i'm interested in file naming and in here i have file naming rules for my uh, projects so first thing what i should look is the separator symbol for different data parts so for main data parts i use bottom dash lower dash or for sub data separation i use dash so how looks the name using this uh, technique so first i have group tag of student group next one um, uh, short name of uh, student works uh, and also number of the work next one name first letter of the student uh, also s surname uh, project number and student last number based on his uh, list number and revision revision we use if the uh, common data environment doesn't have automatic revision function like windows explorer doesn't have such things so you should provide the revision manually if you are using uh, common data environments like Jimble Connect, Autodesk uh, Docs, BIM 360 or other uh, platforms, uh, these platforms have automatic revision uh, parts. So in such case, you don't need to use the last symbol. So example how the name looks is provided here. So I just copy the name and go back to my project and put the name here control v and yeah so specifically for students we update it and for uh, example purpose i just use project zero and now i can save it click locally and it automatically creates file in my downloads folder now my project is saved and I can continue on my project and each 10 or, or I don't know 15 minutes should click uh, additionally save uh, to 
get the latest uh, file and its information. And of course, you can use, I think, a shortcut like Control S for saving the file. So let's try Control S. And you see it's automatically saving. And of course, Windows is creating uh, the version revision version uh, sequence because the file name is the same so i forgot to delete this part okay so let's delete and let's click save now it's okay so later i will delete now from edge okay great so let's continue on our project